I love it. <laughs> and treat yourself to a salon style manicure and pedicure at home. A local nail salon shows us the secrets without spending a lot of time and money. That's coming up. I called it Manny Patty. A Manny you know, because I'm cool like that. Still to come, get a salon style manicure at home. A local nail salon is going to show us the secrets without spending a lot of money. It's coming up. We love to pamper ourselves if there's time or the money, right? Uh, but it's not always the case. So how do you treat yourself to a salon worthy manicure or pedicure? It's not always easy. Joining us this morning to give us some salon secrets for these at home mani pedis is our friend Lauren Palomares. She is with Marilyn Monroe Salons. And we also have Felicia Singh. She's one of their nail technicians. And we have a model, Gina Berry, with us this morning as well. Thank you all ladies for being here. Yes, thank you. All right, so David was just over at your salon a couple of weeks ago, yes. right? Big grand opening. It looks Definitely. beautiful. It looks thank beautiful. You. So we appreciate you coming in this morning. Uh, talk to us first, Lauren, about how do you go about getting a good manicure or pedicure if you want to do it at home? Because frankly, we can't go to the salon all the time. No, it definitely takes time and money to be able to go. So to do it at home, first you start with filing the nail. Okay. A lot of people do this second or third in the steps, but really you want to have a dry nail bed to file, and that will help your nail not be damaged. Okay. So you file all in one direction, does not damage the nail. After you file the nail, it's very important to apply cuticle softener. It's a step that most people miss at home. Okay. It really softens up the cuticles and allows for the manicure to look very polished. Ah, I gotcha. Yes. Okay. Uh, what about filing the sides of your nails? I've always heard that's a no-no. Yes, you don't file the sides of your nails. Okay. You only file in one direction. Okay. Otherwise, your, your nails can fray and look damaged, and that's definitely not what we want. Yeah, no, not at all. What if you are one of those people who's always prone to breakage, like me? I'm, I, my nails are always breaking. Anything special you can do to prevent that? Definitely. If your nails are prone to breaking, you probably need an extra moisturizer. Ah, so okay. you can actually use things that are in your kitchen to moisturize your nails or even exfoliate. Really? We have um, sugar and olive oil that you can mix together, two-thirds part sugar, one-third part olive oil, uh -huh. and that will make a wonderful exfoliant. Olive oil is very moisturizing to the skin and even the nail bed and will cause it to not break. Wow. Okay, what are the hot trends right now on nails? I'm noticing yours are awesome, by yes. the way. Felicia You're did really, mine. They're really cool print. Good yes. job, Felicia. Thank they're you. beautiful. <laughs> I mean, let me see yours, Felicia. What do you have going on here? Have some glitter. Oh, that's pretty. But just on the tips, I mm -hmm. love that. So, uh, a nice ring, too. Uh, okay, so what what do you do if, you, if you're looking to be kind of trendy right now? What are kind of the hot in things? Definitely. A lot of people like the darker colors right now. So okay. instead of doing black, we like a burgundy, even a navy, to give you that dark fall color, but not necessarily be too dark. Also, nail art is huge right now. So chevrons, I have this cat eye look. Yeah, I love that's, those. Yes, that, that's a big trend right now. And um, a small stripe across the nail, maybe in a gold metallic, is also something we're seeing a lot. And I noticed that a lot of people are still doing the one one finger is a different color than the yes. others. Is that still is that still popular? We call it the party it nail. <laughs> <laughs> the party nail, yes. I like that. We usually do it on the ring fingernail, and it just kind of gives a little extra spark and pizzazz to a normal manicure. Okay, what if you only have time for one coat? Can you, you do that, or are you going to be well, a mess later? If you only do one coat, you will be prone to chipping. Okay. So if you can even do two coats and allow about a minute to dry between coats, because if you do two coats right on top of each other, the second coat will really just pull the first coat off. Okay. So you want to allow for a minute to dry, and then a top coat will seal in the polish. I gotcha. That's a beautiful color you guys chose, by the way. Okay, so tell people how they can find your salon, Lauren, in case they haven't heard of it yet. Yes. We have we have the Grove in Windermere, close to Isleworth. Mm -hmm. We also have Mill Park Orlando and that's closer to Mills in Virginia It's right next to the fresh market we're opening up Lakeside which is a couple miles away from Mills Park and then we are also opening up a spa in the Grand Cypress Hotel Wow you yes. guys are busy is there a website yes Marilyn Monroe spas.com perfect thank you all ladies so thank much you. thank you thank you great thank job you. great job all right thanks everybody mm -hmm. Jamie listen